sensational news of the Chancellor's resignation followed swiftly on the introduction of his last budget, about which he had this to say. My autumn budget is intended to stop too much spending at a time when, as a nation, we really can't afford it. But I have been careful not to tax any of the prime necessities of life, so that I hope that no serious hardship will be caused to any of them. I have put something on totes and on the pools and on beer, but only a penny a pint, and on profits. But I have refused to slash the food subsidies because they mean so much to the ordinary family. Many things will cost a bit more because of these new tax increases. And in the months to come, there will be fewer goods in the shops, as you know, because of the cuts in imports and because we have got to send more goods abroad to pay for our food and our raw materials. And that brings me finally to the savings movement. I want you all to help the savings movement. It hasn't been doing too well lately, but it really is one of our best defenses against inflation. So I hope you'll make saving certificates your Christmas presents this year. Those will keep until times are easier. After Mr. Dalton's resignation, a statement was issued saying that Sir Stafford Cripps had become Chancellor and would also carry on his economic duties. When Governor